This is my Purple Heart from when I was wounded in Iraq. Sergeant First Class Richard Stasekull still has the sniper's bullet. Good souvenir for me to remember. That pierced his lung in 2004, nearly killing him. A reminder of how fragile life is. Something could change everything just in an instant. Last year at age 36, breathing became difficult for the Green Beret from North Carolina. I felt like I was drowning. Doctors at Fort Bragg ran tests, taking this CAT scan in January 2017, then sent him home. They said my physical was fine. But his symptoms got worse. Four months later, he was rushed to Womack Army Medical Center, barely conscious, according to his wife. They had to crack down on his chest to get him to pop his eyes open. Medical records indicate the military's doctors took another look at his CAT scan, this time noting an abnormality normality that needed attention, a possible mass in the middle of his chest. A transbronchial biopsy was advised, but Stasekul and his wife say they weren't told any of that. Instead, doctors said he had pneumonia. They checked my heart, said everything was fine. Then he began coughing up blood. He tried to make an appointment to see a pulmonologist on base, but was told he'd have to wait at least a month. I said, hey, something's not right. I need to be looked at. Somebody needs to take me seriously. Somebody needs to help me. And I just kept getting told, sir, new patients are not a priority. Last June, he was approved to see a civilian doctor, and a new scan was taken. Did a biopsy. When I woke up, my wife was crying, and he was telling her that I, I had cancer. Stage 4 terminal cancer. His tumor has metastasized, spreading to other organs. I feel great because I don't want to believe that it's there. If it's false hope, it's still hope. But uh, there's days I, I just really try not to believe that I have it. And some days I'm good at convincing myself. So, um, that's pretty much how I go about my days. Do you think this should have been detected earlier? Absolutely. He's hired attorney Natalie Kuwam, who's pursuing a $10 million lawsuit against the government. What do you think would have happened if they had detected this months earlier? We don't have a man who's dying. The law firm hired board-certified radiologist Dr. Louis Laskowski to review Stasekul's CAT scans. Dr. Laskowski says the military's doctors should have detected his cancer in January 2017, six months before a civilian doctor did. That mistake, he says, allowed the aggressive tumor to go untreated and double in size. But the case is unlikely to make it to trial. That's because under a 1950 Supreme Court decision called the Ferris Doctrine, active duty military are prevented from suing the government for injuries incidental to military service. If Stasekul was a civilian, he would have had the right to sue for medical malpractice. Because he was active duty, he can't. Department of Defense officials refused to comment on Stasekul's case. We asked if anyone had sympathy for what he and his family are going through, but Pentagon officials wouldn't even offer that. Instead, sending Fox 46 this statement saying, reversal of the Ferris Doctrine would destroy the premise of the no-fault compensation system currently applicable to all workers' compensation programs. But Kawam says this isn't about workers' compensation, pointing out Stasekul took a bullet and never complained. For them, this is about medical malpractice. For Stasekul and and his family. It's now about their daughters growing up without a father. What motivates you to keep going? I try to set examples for my kids of, you know, you, you got to do the right thing. You got to fix the things that are broken. If you don't do it, who else is going to do it? State school tells me he has at least a year to live. Now I reached out to Fort Bragg and Womack Army Medical Center, both declined to comment. Tomorrow night at 10, a congressman from Concord is looking into changing federal law because of our investigation. In the newsroom, Matt Grant, Fox 46 Charlotte.